Good morning, everybody. Hope you guys are having a good day so far. It is so early. But I wouldn't do the army if it wasn't early, so. Ugh. Enjoyed my last three days off. Um, but now it's time to go back to work. I'm bringing my computer with me lately, so. It's like another step in my routine that I have to figure out in the mornings. So today is unfortunately my long day. It wasn't supposed to be, but we have to cover down for some people um, on a different team. So, which isn't so horrible because um, It's not that bad because, you know, I have my computer to kind of get work done that I need to get done. Um, there's some classes that we have to complete every so often, like throughout the year. So I've been able to get those done and they take forever, like literally forever. Got my bag, get all my stuff in, let me go get it. My neighbor's kid was just asking me a simple question, but I didn't see him behind me. Like I was cleaning up, obviously you guys saw. And he scared the crap out of me, guys. Guys, today is the day that I enlisted into the army six years ago. Can you believe it? I cannot believe, like, I'm just reflecting really quick and just like documenting this moment because I just cannot believe that I made it this far like I can't well not even I can believe I made it this far let's not say that but like I just can't believe like the time has gone by so fast like I was 19 years old when I decided to join the army and I'm 26 so I didn't actually enlist until I was I had just turned 20 fun fact I was supposed to enlist at 19 um, but something happened like I had to go get a medical document and I wasn't able to re to enlist that day that I went to MEP so I had to come back and re like to uh, enlist in enlist not re-enlist set yourself up for success if it's something that you plan on doing long term um, I know when I was a young younger soldier like I wasn't really into re-enlisting I just hated my leadership and I just kind of had to like especially like the last couple of years I just kind of had to like say to myself you know leadership is going to be poor everywhere for the most part like that's just like the fact of life and it's just like what you do to it do how you make of it and you don't let someone else like I love I love to say you don't let someone else like ruin your bag like don't let someone else ruin your money no I'm gonna get my money like no you're not just because you're having a crappy day doesn't mean that you're gonna mess up my career so just think about that um, the army isn't for everybody that is a fact but I just can't believe like I actually I re-enlisted um, my contract is over but I start a new one tomorrow and yeah it's just crazy six years guys six and i'm continuing so anyway it's a blessing for the most part it's been a blessing um it's opened so many doors for me um as you guys can see i'm, I'm national guard but i'm working full time like i you know i couldn't ask for a better thing and then you know with um buying a home we're in the process of buying a home it's a slow painful process sometimes but um you know, without the army, I wouldn't be able to get the veterans, uh, the veteran loan. So, yeah, today I qualified for it, which is awesome. Well, actually, I qualified for it a long time ago, but um, since I've been, you know, active and stuff. But yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Anyways, thank you guys. And I'm gonna jam to work. Actually, I gotta call Kenny Bear because I usually call him on my way to work. But yeah, um, today is another day in my life video. 
and today is my six year mark in the army. Caution, road with restricted access. Morning. Top of the rock. Yeah. I'm um, on post because I have to get a new cat card. So if you guys don't know, something that a lot of people don't tell you is when you get a cat card, it expires. Usually when you, your ETS date, um, and I ended up re-enlisting obviously, so I need to get a new cat card. Also, you can get a new cat card if you promote, um, and if you get promoted and your rank obviously changed, you can go do it. You don't have to, but if you're like OCD, then you can. Um, I've done that before, um, so I don't see myself promoting anytime soon, probably not with the next year, maybe a year or and a half or two. And, but basically all you do, you can come on any in military installation, um, you can just Google it. And you can, uh, I would recommend making an appointment because the one on post here, like they are wishy-washy sometimes. Sometimes they'll let you walk in, sometimes not. I just, I would think like just to play it safe to just make an appointment, just make an appointment. Sometimes they're at night, sometimes they're just not. Um, but right now I'm waiting to go in, I got like, I'm probably gonna go in like two minutes just to be there a little bit early but it shouldn't take long um so we'll see but yeah i just wanted to kind of give that information out there's so much information that goes on in the military that like a lot of people don't know especially when they're new and there's like so much information i've been in for six years now and there's a lot of things that i don't know so anyway but this is one of them one of those like admin things that you have to do not really admin but like important things to do because if you don't have a car you can't go to work right um but anyways yeah and that goes for national guard anybody i mean you want to have a valid cat card because i mean you can't even go through the airport and use your cat card like to cut the lines and stuff duh if it's not valid but anyways i'm about to go in and i will see you guys after <sighs> on with that that didn't take as painfully long as i thought it was going to take you guys i don't know what it is i literally tried so hard like to make sure that my card was going to be perfect like the picture it just never turns out that way for some reason you always look crazy always but this is the best picture i've taken like the, like my last couple uh cat card pictures have been like grim reaper vibes so that's okay. Okay, made it to work. Let's get ready for this long day. Oh, wrong side. Have to use the black side in the army. Oh, I'm so dreading this long day, guys. Oh, I was so bummed when I got that email yesterday. So in between cars, so. You guys know, I'm working a COVID site, and in between cars, I'll like sneak in some food. Right now, it's not really busy. I just have one car in right now, but the struggle is real. Um, yeah, eating my applesauce. I don't know how he... <laughs> we have somebody come in the opposite way. It's so once in a while. More times than it should happen, uh, we have people come in um, the backwards way, I guess. Um, so we have like an entrance and an exit. And sometimes they'll come in through the exit when there's like already a bunch of cars. And there's already a bunch of cars like lined up and I'm like how do you not see that this is an exit it literally says exit and there's like gate like barricades <sighs> one of the uh, NCOs are taking care of it on the other side <laughs> but sometimes I just be wondering what these people are thinking like we'll tell them to go to a certain lane and they'll like won't even go to a lane at all they'll 
go through this little area right here where it's like you could crash your car. Okay, so it's lunchtime, and usually for lunch, I'll go to Wendy's because it's cheap. It's only four bucks, and I don't really like to spend too much money on lunch, but I only go on lunch um, on our long days. So Today happens to be a long day, like I said earlier. Um, oh, um, they were having kids listen happening? to the episode, or not kids, but teens oh. listen to the episode. Oh. Podcast. Oh, it bounced. So we just came to the car lot. Can you turn it on? Yeah, so I can hear better. And we're test driving a Tahoe, my dream car. Um, price is a little high for my liking, but it's a 2016. LTZ. LTZ, fully loaded. It even. It even charges your phone right here. But the price is a little too high for me. We're test driving, see how it runs. It's a used 2016 Chevy Tahoe. Oh, show me the house we were talking about. Yeah. You said there was like a really big house over here? So I'm gonna end the vlog. My camera is in the car, so that's why the quality isn't as well because I'm filming this on my phone. Um, but um, I just realized I didn't end this vlog. Um, it, um, we, I think I ended it when we were looking at the car. We obviously, we weren't gonna get it, but um, it was a really nice car for a good deal, but we don't need a new car right now. Um, especially trying to buy a home and stuff, we can use that money um, towards our house. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead in the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.